Hello out there in YouTube land or Facebook land or internet land, wherever you happen to be watching this interview from, and welcome to the Hope and Inspiration art, Online Art Show. And tonight our uh, final guest is artist Luke Hogenstrand from New Brunswick. And Luke, thanks for doing agreeing to do this interview. Well, thanks for having me, Murray. Yeah. And Luke, you used to be the artist in residence for the Kairos group. Do you want to tell us what that group is about? And how you got involved in it? Yeah, it was actually um, a really cool experience and it was earlier, um, I guess just last year, but it seems earlier in my career. Um, and it was when I was started really working in um, ecological justice work and they helped um, really steer me in that direction. Um, uh, Lloyd Bruce is a minister in town here and I'm good friends with him and he sent me an email saying that Kairos was looking for an arson residence. So I got in contact with Shannon and we had great communications and I really liked how um, driven the organization was and so we agreed that I'd go to their gathering and it's a cool gathering, it's, um, it was called the Atlantic Gathering, it happened here in Sackville at Mount Allison mm -hmm. and it basically was like um, an educational weekend mm -hmm. where you got to go to different seminars and learn about Indigenous rights and um, different ways of you can do your activism and um, just learning about um, the ecological crisis we're in as well. And I found it really informative and afterwards I created three paintings for them and we had a show in the following November and um, two of those paintings are now in our show here oh. so um, that's kind of how it comes full circle. Oh neat. These two paintings here actually I put them up for the interview. <laughs> oh, okay, so what now those both have an ecological theme, so what do your paintings say about the state, state of the climate crisis right now? Yeah, you know, um, painting about the climate crisis was a bit of a struggle at first because mm -hmm. it's, it's bad, you know, the climate's in a really r rough shape. Mm -hmm. I think with recent events we almost don't think about what happened at the beginning of this year but when Australia was on fire species went extinct mm -hmm. and each year it's gonna get worse and the more we put off solutions the worse it's gonna get but I think you can get lost in that despair and um, a good friend of mine Elizabeth Copeland um, she wrote this book during the hope at Cliff's Edge Oh. And daring to hope, I think, is like a really powerful message because I think through hope, we um, we can be emboldened to actually do our activism and to change the world. It can be the light that leads us through the darkness. Um, but I think it's important to have, and as a term she introduced me to, active hope. Um, it's from a book she read. I want to get the reference so people know the actual book. Um, it's called Act of Hope, mm -hmm. um, and it's by Jonah Macy and Chris Johnstone. Johnstone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just the theme is that through Act of Hope, we can do a lot of good. Mm -hmm. And um, through complicit hope, it's not what we want. We don't want people to come to an art show, see a bunch of pretty paintings and go, the environment's so pretty, um, and just leave and think they did their part there. Mm -hmm. um, when you want people to go and say, it's bad, but nature's beautiful mm -hmm. and we have to save it and we have to save ourselves from this extinction. Mm -hmm. So, um, act of hope. There's some, um, there's actually a Greta quote that, um, I assigned to one of the paintings in our show and it's, um, she says there is hope. She often talks about how people shouldn't tower to be hopeful, but mm -hmm. this is where she talks about hope. And she says that there is hope and it's not coming from the politicians or the corporations. It's coming from the people. The people are waking up. And as the people wake up, they learn and, and change can happen and the change is happening. Mm -hmm. So it's paraphrased, but that's approximately what she said. And I think that's a good embodiment of active hope. So that's what my paintings are about. My paintings are about active hope. Mm -hmm. um, this painting here is mm -hmm. um, a dream of ecological permanence. It's showing the coral reef 
right. as it should be. Mm -hmm. um, I remember watching a video from 2012 and it's mm -hmm. showing how bad the coral reefs were at that time. And you know, eight years ago now, yeah. um, it's even worse. <laughs> um, but, and this one here, I'm not sure if anyone can see it. It's a lemur and a clear cut. And this is, um, to me, it has a lot of symbology. Here's the tree of life for the family tree that we're all connected to. And it's the lemur mother. She's like looking at us and she's like the guardian of the forest. Um, so I think in it, there is hope though, because there is the new life. And through this knowledge and through our education and through um, wanting to save the planet, we really can. So I think that's what my paintings are about. Yeah. It's neat that they tell that story too. You know, but they have yeah. that, they have that story of hope. I think that's important right now. It's all about hope. Without yeah. hope, we have nothing, man. Like yeah. we don't have hope. We might as well just give up now. Hope yeah. is what's gonna save us, I think. Yeah. I think so too. Luke, you have an upcoming event planned. Do you wanna tell us about tell us about that event and Yeah, so um I'm bringing Kairos back in mm -hmm. um because uh, this whole thing started with Kairos. I met Miriam Lucas Jeffries, whose mm -hmm. brainchild the show was at yeah. the gathering. And I think through community is how we, we solve the climate crisis. And I learned a lot through that community. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm hoping to maybe share some of that knowledge through the interview I'm having with Shannon and, um, and Beth and, with the Q&A we're having. Um, and there's the conversation to the people coming back and forth. Anyone participating can ask anyone a question. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's where we're going with the show. And I hope everyone can make it out. Mm -hmm. um, that's the 4th of December, um, uh, 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time and um, 6 p.m. Atlantic. Okay. Or, and to... Wait, the other way around, I mean. <laughs> 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 Let me say that again. It's at, um, it's 7 p.m. Atlantic, okay. 6 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> okay. And how do people get onto the show They want to, if they want to see the show? Yeah, so on our page, we're going to be posting um, a link. And the link um, is just, it's um, a registration link. It's free. You're not going to be sent any, like, junk mail. It's just so we don't get any, like, um, I think they call it Zoom bombing now, okay. where it's like a troll comes in and upsets the event. Sure. Um, so that will be posted on um, the Hope and Inspiration page. It'll also be posted on all my pages. Um, it might even be posted in other places. <laughs> so, um, but those are good places to get the link. Good. Well, good luck with the show and the event, Luke. Uh, thanks for agreeing to do the interview. And your work is really inspirational. Thank and, you. And it has a great message to it too. So, so good luck. And, and I hope a lot of people join into this event. Well, thanks for having me, Murray. And um, <laughs> I hope everyone can make it. I do do. Thanks now.